Hi, beautiful people. How's it going? It is your girl, Hot Girl Tarot Shay. Thank you all for being here and joining me. I greatly do appreciate y'all. Okay. Um, if you are new here, please go ahead and subscribe. Okay. I would love to have you. Um, I also have a Twitter account where I do post collective messages. So if you know you, if you go over there, then you'll see that I do post collectives over there. If uh, if y'all like, dang, where's Shavian? You know, why she ain't posted? Well, check out my Twitter account. Okay. Over there is where I do post collectives, okay? Messages for the signs. So, and I, I try to do something. I try to leave a message every day. Also, over there is where you can book a reading. So, if you need to book a personal reading, please don't email. Because I don't check it very often, okay? Um, so, Twitter, if you want to call me, beat me. If you want to reach me, it's literally through Twitter, okay? Use the link that's in the description box, okay? Be also aware of fake pages, Okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started on y'all's reading today. I don't know what's going to come out. Once again, thank y'all for joining me and being here. All right, let's go ahead. Spirit, thank you. And since you're totally divine, please protect me. I'm going to get these messages out for the collective's highest good. Anyone that's sending any negative energy doing any spell work, I ask that you please return all the energy back to those who are sending out negative energy, okay? So what is the message today for the collective spirit? What message do you have for the beautiful collector today? What do they need to know? What are we, what do they need to be aware of at this time? Okay, what does the collective need to be aware of at this time? Thank you. Amen and amen. So let's see what, what's y'all's message, okay? What is the collective's message for the day, Spirit? What do they need to be aware of? What does the collective need to be aware of? social media okay so let's see so something about social media could play a big part bottom of the deck talks about eyes for you fascinated all right somebody here is watching you on social media it could be a divine masculine somebody here is currently stuck on you whoever this is cannot get you off their mind they constantly you know watching your social media seeing what you're doing okay wow so there's a divine masculine energy for someone that needs to know that you need to be aware of at this time that that person is watching you on social media, okay? They keep in tabs on you, okay? What else does the collective need to be aware of? This is your soulmate who watching you, okay? This is somebody here who, you know, y'all could have been friends before, whatever. The song that's playing is God must have sent a, spent a little more time with you by NSYNC. So somebody here looking at you like you are heaven sent. Somebody here knows that maybe God spent a little bit more time on you. They created you to be the perfect wife. I mean, well, well, I heard wife, but some of you could be this person's wife. But they know that God spent a little bit more time on you. The, your qualities, the way you think, the way you carry yourself, okay? That love and energy. They're like, dang, the way that the collective is moving, God must have spent a little bit more time. That, that was the perfect, that is the perfect person for me that is my soulmate look how perfect the collective is somebody here looks at you as perfection okay like you could do no wrong in this person's eyes even if they try to accuse you of things or whatever the case may be it's like it, it is what it is yeah there's somebody here who could have wore a mask they could have hid a lot from you this person could have been a liar okay um they try to conceal their their feelings when it came to you they held back okay what else who is this that's watching? Well, let's see. Social media. Can you clarify social media? So some of you, you may in a couple of days or weeks possibly do on social media. There could be your person could be trying to negotiate something here with you. Okay. What is this social media? Days, weeks, months. Yeah, somebody here can't get enough of watching you. It's like they crave you. It's like like they, they want more of you. They want to know more of what you're doing. So they they got to watch you on social media. Yeah, see, this is a past energy. This is somebody here who's coming back to make something right. Yep, your ex. They're reminiscing. Thinking about the memories. Look, written all over your face. So for some of you, it's written all over this person's face that they want you back, okay? For some of you, their now current energy is being single. And they feel like time is running out with you. So they know they got to come in here and make something here shake, okay? So there is, so already what I'm picking up just off the first line there is a past person, an ex, who is reminiscing, thinking about you, wanting to come back towards you. This person has been heavy on your social media. 
like I said, some of you may get a message from on social media from this ex, okay, who is wanting to come back towards you. They cannot stop thinking about you, whoever this is, okay? Clarify soulmate. So what about this soulmate, this romantic partner that's been watching the collective? Yeah, this is about here who maybe um, could be going through some type of judgment, okay, or some type of legal issues. They're going through some type of awakening. They're trying to find balance in their life right now. Okay, this is my here who feels sad, crushed, and alone. They probably didn't got themselves into something. Yeah. See, something here didn't happen. If somebody there's somebody who tried to trap your person. Okay, some type of entrapment. Either that's with their mind. Somebody here could be messing with your person's head. But they're, they're trying to cut that situation off because they're realizing it is no good. It is fake. For some of you, this wanted to come out. So that could be your person could be involved with others. And they could be just getting themselves in a bunch of mess right now. Okay, due to some financial reasons. Okay. Somebody's home life could be messed up. Tell me more about this soulmate that is watching the collective. That's wanting to come back towards the collective. Who is this soulmate energy? Yeah, somebody here is searching online for you. Like they're looking up, seeing what they can find. Okay, they're looking for some information. But whatever somebody is trying to do, even if they're trying to be shysty, you know, trying to put something here up. Oh, what are these legal ish matters about with this soulmate energy? Somebody got anxiety. So your soulmate could be going through some type of legal issue. And somebody here could be searching them up. They may have to like meet with lawyers and stuff. And it's very triggering. That this is somebody here they could have married or committed themselves to. And they could have they're coming to a realization that they need to get a divorce. So any person could be going through a divorce. You know, that they're, they're in the stages of coming to some type of agreement, put something out on the table with whoever this is, like an offer, or they, they agreed in court. Because you know, this person ended up being very toxic. Okay, yeah, this is my here who chose a, another life over you. Now they're realizing they may deserve better. They're realizing the grass was not green on the other side. Some of you, they have to move out of this person's place in like 30 days or 90 days is what I'm hearing. Tell me more about this soulmate. What's this searching in energy? Looking for information. Yeah, so whoever they're... Whoever, so there could be a feminine energy that's looking up information on your person because your person is throwing out a relationship with them. They could be holding on to some records of your, about your person. They could be bringing up your person's past. Especially your person had a lot of run-ins with the law. Okay? It's because your person's discarding throwing something out. They don't want this with this person. What is this that the club's person is throwing out? Discarding. Yeah, they've been getting signs about whoever this is. So for some of you, they're going to have to come with some type of agreement or an offer when it comes to this individual. Also, when I'm picking up two, if that's not the case, your person is really at the stage where they are throwing something here out and th because it's not working. It's not working. But on top of that, they've been getting signs about coming here with you and putting an offer on the table for you. That's why they're wanting to come towards you. Somebody here is ready to make a, a, a make it make an, an offer towards you. They don't want to go nowhere. So you can be saying two, two, two. Okay, but they want to create it. They want to make an offer with you, but they got a lot of anxiety about it, too. Why does this soulmate? Yeah, this is this is your soulmate. Look what came out again. Soulmate. This person has come to a realization that you are their person. Like God must have spent more like a lot of time on you. You know, like you're you're perfect. You know, this person can't run from this connection anymore. That's why they are divorcing something or making a final decision on something. Breaking up with somebody. They're done. Because them, whoever this is, they don't get along. There are so many differences, okay? And like they're like I said, they come to some sort of agreement with that person, okay? Why does this soulmate got so much anxiety right now, other than these legal issues? So something about their planning or something. For some of you, they've been talking about somebody about coming back towards you is what I'm hearing. What's this anxiety? Two more people, discussions, planning. What is this about? Yeah. So your person may have anxiety and they could be talking to someone about you because they feel like you are done. Okay? That there's, there's been a completion. You're not going to go back. Yeah. So your soulmate, if you view this person as your soulmate, they view you as their soulmate. They'll have some type of soul contract or some soul connection. But they're coming to a realization that in order to have you and have a, a true commitment, they have to let go of another situation, which they could be in the process of letting that situation go. There's some type of lesson that was learned. What what um did the collective person learn? Completion lesson learned being done. So 
so we got social media again for some of you that the the them being on social media looking for options dating you know hooking up with people networking it could be a very confusing situation they don't even know why they do shit like that they're like that's a whole mystery for some of you they don't they're they're thinking about you and, and wondering it's a mystery to you because maybe on social media you're not doing too much or you may not post as often and they may not have your new number or they may not or you may be blocking them every chance you get so it is a mystery but this person does know i need to come in here single if i do want to collect the bag because time is running out and i'm telling you this person wants to travel towards you and beg to be beg to be with you this somebody here who they don't know what's up with you but they watch your social media heavy they spy on you they reminisce they could be online dating to try to fill a void you know but things are starting to get very confusing for your person look they want someone to love someone to hold and they can't do it with these people they are online dating it, it's not the same you are the one they want so what is this mask energy coming from the collector's person how about this mask energy spirit yeah so yeah they're scared to come towards you 11 11 on the timer because this person wore a mask okay and and then wearing a mask now they're in this type of anxiety i'm telling you person got major anxiety here when it when they think about you and think about what they've done and and, and being the reason that's why y'all where y'all at right now they feel weighed down okay they feel weighed down what was this why was this person wearing a mask yeah because for some of you they made it seem like they didn't want to be with you or they they were okay with being without you but they're not they they acted for some of you they didn't even fight for the connection like you maybe thought they would have okay but they're wearing a mask right now to show you that the mask that they're wearing is that they they're not showing you that they're scared and in panic mode okay they're not showing you right now that they want to come back towards you because they feel this connection they feel like they're better with you you see how she's like um in color and he's in black and white but as you see, he's kissing her forehead. He's becoming to be in color with her. Your person could be in a dark place right now. And they need your love really bad. That's why they want to come back towards you. But they're not showing it. They're just in their feelings right now. It could be online looking you up. Or trying to figure out what's going on. Trying to get let go of things. Maybe the stuff that you're posting could be really showing your person. Like, damn, that's where I want to be. Yeah, they want to list these as a forever thing. See, they, they knew that. They were supposed to possibly spend the rest of their life with you, but they messed things up and they regret it because they went and let, you know, they could have got somebody pregnant or that person tried to trap them. Yeah, it could have been a karmic who's been heavy on your person for a very long time. And that if your person wanted a party, they, they chased after this karmic and your karmic chased after them. That shit ended up with a toxic ass relationship, codependency, misunderstandings, fighting each other all the damn time. Your person, I feel like they want peace. So some of your person could be ghosting. I told you that. Yeah, they could be ghosting this, this toxic relationship because they want happiness. They want to smile again. Yep. Why is the cut this person wearing a mask if they don't want to reconcile? Why are they not showing anything to reconcile? Because I feel like they feel like you're leaving them in the past. Like you're leaving them as an ex-lover. They feel like they don't have no chance with you. Because then I already went to somebody else, living with somebody else. Yeah, they felt their intuition. As soon as you found out that they were making a home with this person, maybe you thought they were making a home. Maybe you gotten signs. Maybe you felt it. Maybe you saw this person say they were pregnant. Maybe you saw this person say they moved in and they got a house together. I don't know. But maybe your intuition told you they're with somebody else. You know? And it caused you some type of greatness of sadness because you saw your person just moving on. But they really got trapped in another situation and now they're trying to get up out of it. This is their karma. Now there's been some some major extreme hard cut hard cut off. They're trying to cut this person off, and it's not easy. Like this person on some bullshit. That's why you're trying to trap your person. Yep. See, your person was pretending. And there could have been other people involved as well, like I said earlier. So they really possibly can't show right now that they that they want to be with you. Okay? Why does this person want to reconcile with the collective? Because I feel like y'all been apart for too long. There's this pause. I feel like it has been, it's not just a pause. It's been way too long. And you got your, like I said, you got your person in their feelings. And it's gotten to the point where they are watching you. They're searching you up, looking you up online. Now, like I said, they're, they're wearing that mask though. You know, they're wearing that mask. It's my hair. I feel like they want to take accountability in the past. 
Why do they want to come together with the collective? Why do they want a reconciliation? Yeah, because now they're ready to throw out another situation. Something here wasn't working either. The way they were acting wasn't working. Their mindset wasn't working. Now they don't want. Now they can't get enough of you. Now they focus on you. Now that those tables have turned. Now they want you back because they can keep you off the head, off your head, off off their head, off their mind. Okay. Yeah, this divine masculine. They want to prove to you like I love you, collective. I don't want to go nowhere. I don't want you to go nowhere. Don't move on from me. So what is this trash discarding, throwing out from the collective's person? They don't want to be sad. Whatever it is, it didn't work and it's, it, it, it makes them feel alone because they don't got you. Look, love like this. They ghosted you when it was really, you were really their happiness. She was really trying to build with them. When I think of sunflowers, I think of peace. I think of beautiful. So you were very beautiful, beautiful in this person's eyes, but they let you slip away. And look, look at his hand reaching out. So even though they became silent and ghosted you and rejected you or whatever, I thought they're still trying to reach out to you. They just did not want to face the truth of what they got themselves into. They knew that they're possibly, you know, like if you walk into a burn, burning building, you're likely to, to get burned. Well, that's what happened. They knew that they were going to get burned, but they but they went anyways. Yeah, look, they ran into another situation that wasn't even fulfilling. Now they're trying to pray to get up out of that. Now they're trying to let a person in the past. Yep. Trying to surrender and let that go. Why? Because they feel unconditional love for you. But they're heartbroken because y'all are not seeing eye to eye. Or y'all are not talking to each other. But they can't let you go. You are their wish. They're wishing to get out of something else. And they're wishing that they can work something out here with you. Why is the collective person feeling sad, broken, and alone when it comes to the collective? I'm telling you because there is something here that somebody here is trying to trap your person. With money, with sex, I'm hearing, with a pregnancy. And it's maybe, your person may not want none of that. Not only, especially when it's coming from this person. Yeah, your person's trying to break up with this person to have a new beginning in love. But some, and they're embarrassed because they went into this with the wrong mindset. They were lusting over whoever that was. They were lusting because they thought they were going to get, you know, whatever from this person. They now they want to come back to you with they in their head. They see your, themselves as having a long term relationship with you, and it's triggering because they can't have you. Some of you they see on social media about to move on. That's they fear. Every day they check your page because they're like they're scared they're gonna see something. Clarify this entrapment: pregnancy, money, heartstrings. Look, see, it's somebody that they don't want to be with. The wedding came out in reverse with the breakup. Something here that they're, like I just said, I confirmed everything. I said, thank you, Spirit. Someone they thought would have been wishing for them, they would have a better life with. It didn't turn out that way. They're walking away. They're in and they separated themselves from this person. Entrapment with the wedding universe. Somebody is not the one for them. Yeah, this person was toxic, unhealthy. This could have made your person be very toxic and unhealthy as well. Toxic, unhealthy behaviors, people. Yeah. But this is a lifestyle that they like to chase. It was fun. It was a thrill. Now they're trying to find a way to get up out of it. What is this chaser, hot pursuit, bounty hunter? What is this about? Like I just said, your person knew that going into the situation was not going to work, but they did it anyways. Now look at them. They're a catalyst to their own bullshit. Yep, and it's your divine masculine. This somebody here that knew better, but didn't do better. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then you hear something. I never knew there was a love like this before. They realizing that they never knew somebody could be like like them, but worse. Mm-hmm. Now they now they mentally stuck on you. This divine masculine. Folk want to focus on you. Trying to come here because they can't get enough of you. One more for this um divine intervention for the collector's person telling you yeah now that now they can't stop watching you embarrassed because they chose lust over real love and as i said chose lust over real love soulmate wanted to come out look soulmate wanted to come right on out so they chose lust over love and they're realizing that they're becoming aware of that that's why they ended something with somebody else hoping to have some type of compromise with you give you give you the proper offer but like I said, it's not going to happen, and spirit ain't going to allow it until they break up and let another situation go. 
Look, when will I see you smile again? Somebody here wants to see you smile again, Collecta. He said, I know I messed up and I know you fed up. Okay, so this person knows you over them. Yep. So tell me more. How does this person feel towards the collective spirit? How does this person feel about the collective right now? How does this person currently feel towards the collective at this time? Tell me about this. How is the collective person feeling about them at this time? Show the collective what they need to hear. Right? This person, their soulmate that wants to reconcile, can't stop thinking about the collective. How are they feeling? How's this person feeling towards the collective? Yeah, they want some type of growth. They want to invest in this connection. Some of you will be hearing from this person soon, get some type of message from them or come in here with an offer. Like I said, they want to reconcile. The offer they want to come here with this reconciliation. Okay, they want to heal this connection, but some of you don't trust it because this person really never really showed you that even how they, they, they may have showed you bits and pieces, but you feel like they weren't giving you a hundred percent like you were giving them emotional or commitment issues. But I feel like this person is holding on to you. They know this was a painful ending and they feel left out in the cold. They feel broken. That's why they're ready to take some type of action towards you to have a new beginning in love with you. Why? Because they seek success. They see soulmate energy here with you. So, yeah, they see growth. And they're going to make their way towards you slowly but surely, but they coming. Yeah, because you're very rewarding. You're doing good. You're looking good. They know you don't need them, okay? But your energy is very comforting. I'm telling you, this person's coming in quicker than you think because they feel alone. They're overthinking. They can't stop thinking about you. Right now, they're trying to trust their intuition, which is something they probably didn't do in the past. They see that you are the empress and they need to make some type of progress to come towards you if they want a happy life, if they want that family, if they want a good wife, a good husband. It's you. That's why they want to come here with a new offer, okay? Because right now, they're worried, they're stressed because they, they were given to you and somebody else. What else? What's the collective need to know about this person? Three of Cups. So there will be some type of reunion. Some of you could, um, some a good time is coming up, some type of celebration. So, and we got the Ace of Swords on the deck. Some of you are going to invi invite you out, like, you want to come out with me? Or, you know, maybe you're going to be celebrating something soon. And they're going to, you know, try to pull up on you and see you. Because they've been watching you, okay? They've been watching you. And they're, they've been manifesting you. So, to your surprise, they may show up at maybe a celebration. Um, I'm also picking up for some of you, you know... They, you may see this person out while you're partying, having fun, and they may, be, they may pop up at the same club as you or something, or a party, or maybe an event that's coming up that maybe y'all are going to be at, you know, and I feel like y'all are going to see each other, y'all are going to run into each other, but y'all could have both been manifesting to see one another, okay? But there is some type of reunion that is on the line, Yeah. Some of you are not even going to know. Y'all both can make travel plans and y'all going to be there at the same at the same time. Mm -hmm. How was this person feeling towards the collective? This person, I thought they just want to move forward, though. Yeah. They, 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 they see this as a break. They don't feel like this is over with. They feel like y'all done took a break. Clarify the Four of Swords. They could also be going through some type of, like, spiritual healing. Okay? Yeah. This break is showing your person that, you know, a lot about you. Like this, that's my other half. That's what I'm hearing. What is this break? What else is this for? So what is this break showing the collector's person? It's showing them that they need to step into more of their masculine energy. To be a strong, to be a leader, to be that provider, to work hard. Some of you could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But they want to come here with a new offer because, like I said, things, they've been overloaded with stress and worry. How else does this person feel about the collective right now, Spirit? Yeah, they feel like you're very guarded. You're pushing them away and you're standing your ground. But this is somebody here who ain't letting you go, though. Quite probably the Seven of Wands. How do they feel about the collective standing their ground, being guarded, blocking them, ghosting them? How do they feel about that? They feel like they need, it's an opportunity for them to work on things. They need to go deep within and work. They're like, I'm not showing nothing. I want I want to earn the collective's trust again. I see an opportunity. Yeah, some of you, they're trying to get their money right. 
how they feel about the collective being in the seven of wands energy i'm telling you so make your person want to be with you to have a new beginning love with you because you're you're stepping to you like a higher self so they're like i got to meet the collective there they they're not they're not gonna meet me this way but it's only making them have a more deep love for you it's only making them want to chase after you even more Mm-hmm. Just making them only want to come. Look, six of cups bottom of the day. It's only making them want to come back towards you. You're very loving and caring. Look, they never make a promise that they can't keep. I feel like you pushing them away and you standing your ground, blocking them, ghosting them, not talking to them. It's only making them want to work towards this, to have a new beginning in love with you. Show you more passion. Clarify the ace of cups coming from the collective person. They want to have a new beginning in love with you. This person is still in love with you. And, and, and they may have more deeper feelings for you. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Love, passion, new love, good news, deep feelings. Yeah. And the fact that you're loving yourself more, you're in this energy. They know you standing your ground is, is causing them to, to want them to come towards you. But not only that, they feel excited about coming towards you. Okay, you're loving yourself, you're, you're, you're moving on. It's like, damn, I need to collect it. They're not playing no games. That's a good man, a good woman. I can't pass them up. And right now, they're bored. They thought they're missed an opportunity here with you because they wanted to play it small with you. Yep. They found the four of cups, boredom, missed opportunities, small. They could be missing other opportunities right now because they know they don't have a, another chance here with you. Yeah. See, they felt they missed the opportunity because they're out here lying, cheating, being sneaky, okay, being conniving. That's that mask. They wore that mask, and you know, yeah, look, your ass is not playing. Because you tried to show this person that's love inside of you. Now you got to say, okay, well, I got to stand my ground. My mind is too strong. You're not going to come in here and play in and, and mess around with my feelings. That's what we're not going to do. Yep, now they, now they want more of it. Now that, that, Some of you, they love that energy. Okay, clarify the seven of swords. They love you standing up for yourself. It makes them like, okay, I need to get better. So this person, like war mass, this player energy, they are coming towards you. Some type of communication, some type of traveling towards you, taking some action, won't forward movement here with you because they feel alone, cold, left out in the cold because they're out here being lustful. Once again, wearing that mask. Your person could have many faces Okay, to many different people. If you ask how your person was to the girls they deal with, y'all might got the same ending result, but they all play a different role with, with each woman or man they're with. What's communication coming in from this player? Oh, yeah, they, they ready to talk. Yeah, baby, this person ready to talk. Like, talk, talk. They're using their head over their heart. They want clarity on this situation. That's why they're coming in so so fast. What clarity do they want? See, they see as a soulmate, twin flame, love, like a forever thing. But you setting better, better boundaries is only making this person want to. They know they need to improve on something if they want this two of cups energy with you. Okay? Like they know they have to improve on something. Because you're clearly not going to fuck with them unless they come in here and change it. Some of you are not going to even take that risk to see if they change or not. So what clarity on this situation do they want to know with the collective? Why are they moving in so fast with this message? Well, for one, they, they're overthinking a lot. Okay, possibly about what you wanting to do if you still care. What what are they overthinking about with the collective? Because they're hanging on to you, and they really and things are very delayed right now. They're really not trying to move on with nobody else until they figure out what's going on with you. That's why they're spying on you, look you up. Yeah, see, they're holding on to you. They're not letting you go. Yeah, they want it to be only you, and they're definitely trapped in fear of you moving on. That's what I feel like. What do they want clarity on with the collective? I feel they want to know, like, if you'll give them another chance to work at this connection. They see you in a whole different light. What What do they need clarity on with the collective spirit? They want to know if you'll let them show you how stable they are. If you be off, take, take, take their offer. Because they're determined. But I still feel like this person could have some committed commitment issues or emotional issues. And I feel like they just want to resolve any issue. That's why something is working out in your favor. They feel like they've, they've, they've gone through a renewal. They want to change. And in this change, they want to offer you marriage. Be forever. Be a family. Settle down. Yeah, they want progress. They're determined to, to possibly get you pregnant and settle down or... Start a family, have things the right way. Do it by the book this time because they cannot keep you off their mind. 
Okay, they know they've missed some type of uh, opportunity. They're trying to trust their intuition when it comes to you. Their intuition, you know, they can't stop thinking about you. They feel alone. They have a lot of regrets. That's why they want to come in towards you to heal this connection. They could have even getting guidance from God. Like, God, it, it, even the song that played was, God must have took their time on you. You know, now they're ready to make some type of decision because they've been stressed and worried about what is the ending result going to be between y'all two. You know? Yep, see, this person is getting karma for being a phony, a trickster, living out an illusion, okay? They definitely feeling it, for sure. See, losing sleep behind you, worried, can't keep you off their mind because it came here with phony energy when you were trying to love them. They chose marriage over you. Yeah, see, they're not even happy. So they're realizing, well, I'm, well, clearly, the collective ain't the issue, it's me. I got some shit I need to work on. Look good, girls. Yep, y'all getting a love message, but it may be too late. It may be too freaking late. Okay, somebody here may want to find where you're at. Somebody here is realizing, I want a good girl. I want a good man. I'm tired of messing with these hoes is what I'm hearing. I want to come home to a home-cooked meal. I want to be loved on and rubbed on. Some of you try to be that good girl. Now they're seeing it. They don't want. They don't want you to be taken though. There's something about you. So what else is the collective need to know about their person right now, spirit? Yeah, they could be dealing with somebody they want no strings attached with. Okay, maybe they gave you a hard time in the past, and now they're depressed. Can be getting themselves in a lot of mess, watching you on social media. Okay, wanting to spend the block on you. Because they were dealing with a whole Jezebel spirit out here. Now they soul searching. Thinking about what they've done. Messed up in the head over you. What else? Yep. See, you done block this person. Some of you block it. Every, anytime this person calls your phone or you or they come here with another text now number or something, you blocking them. Clarify blocked. Spam calls text. Some of you, they got their homeboy or homegirl trying to reach out to you. They got their like a partner crime who's always covering up for them who could be coming here calling you and texting you or about to. Clarify this block spam calls covers for them. Yeah, see somebody here gonna be coming here telling you, yeah, see it's you, divine feminine. This homeboy, homegirl gonna be trying to rob you to take your person back. My homeboy love you. He been sick without you. She been worried about you. Like they gonna come in here with so much. They gonna be, yeah. Because your person's going through a lot of drama, a lot of karma, and they're losing their mind. They feel this twin flame energy. For some of you, they, your, this best friend of your person is going to say, my homeboy love you. Like, he really been going through it. She really been going through it. They ain't been themselves. And probably 10 out of 10, they're telling the truth. Yep, your person feel like you're moving on from them. And now they are being, and see what they're running from. You see how this person holding this person's eyes open? They got to see the truth. And even if it ain't pretty, they got to go through that. A lot of chaos, a lot of that ego death, downward spiral, that welfare. They are going through it, okay? Karmic lesson. This is a huge awakening that they're getting. And it ain't pretty what they're, what they're going through or what they're about to go through. Yep, and all they can do is think about you. This person is running from something, but I don't even know where they're running into. They're just running. But whatever they ran from or continue to run from, they can't do that shit no more. This Mercury ratio for some of you, you're going is is gonna really open up your person's eyes and they miss you and they're gonna prove you, prove to you that they miss you. And proof is gonna come from this homeboy or homegirl. Okay? They're gonna prove to you, yeah. Cause they fed up being without you. They are fed the fuck up. And for some of you, whoever they start something here new is nothing but a karmic. They're fed up with this person. They started something here new. They could have posted up with this person, made it seem good. And this person ain't had shit. Don't got nothing to show for. Couldn't even come. Even if you didn't have it all collective, this person damn sure didn't have, have it no better than you. So it might have sound good. It might have looked good. It was probably trigger you and piss you off. Now they massive regret trying to figure out how to get out of this shit. For some of you, the police is involved. Okay? This could be awakening childhood trauma for your person. Yeah, justice. And they wish and pray and hoping to get by this shit. Because they've seen nothing but red flags. Like I said, trying to test their intuition. Their dreams keep getting readings done on you. And whatever they're hearing is shattering. It's shattering their heart. 
but they're ready to close this 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 chapter this cycle they don't want to feel bad anymore they don't want to feel hurt anymore they don't want to go through things anymore i love you divine feminine yeah but they're learning a karmic lesson you don't treat people like that yep going through legal matters and all this shit is going on and all they want to do is come back towards you i love you divine feminine I'm hearing that. Somebody's going to tell you they love you, see? And they're ready to prove it to you. They want to show you that they love you. But they don't know. But they, like I said, that mask. I'm telling you, that motherfucking mask. Even if they prove it to you, Collective, I feel like because this person wore a mask for so long or you always uncaught them into some shit, you're not going to believe that they love you. You're not going to believe it. Even if they friend come and talk to you, you're not going to believe it. Any action this person takes towards you, Collective, you're not going to believe it. Because you done saw the red flags. You done got your readings done. And yeah, shit probably done broke your heart. And you had no choice but to close this, this cycle. Some of you could have tried to make it work. Can I this evidence? Yeah, see, this person had a lot of secrets. But see, like, they can't, whatever situation, they can't really express themselves. Maybe to this homeboy they can. But some of you, you found out about a love child and you said goodbye. Some of you, like I said, there could be a pregnancy on the horizon with that um trying to trap them they're bumping heads whatever that is under a lot of pressure some of you this person gave your person an std okay and they got them going in cycles clarify secrets secrets yeah see this person was out here playing be fake busy and they really got it like that yep now they're trying to hustle Mm -mm -mm. Yep, losing sleep, worry, we're playing events. Why is this collective person losing sleep, worry, we're playing events, thinking about the collective, losing sleep? Yeah, because all the pain, the trauma, the cheating, the deception, backstabbing, playing mind games, they think about that shit they put you through. Because now they can't have you. One more, losing sleep behind the collective. Yeah, some of you, it could be about a child. How do they feel about this love child? Think they're losing sleep. Yeah, it was somebody that they went and went with, and now they're running from that connection. Like I said, this lacks direction, this lacks any kind of clarity. All they know is they possibly have to be a dad or a mom. They may not even want to deal with that person. I'm trying to figure out where you at. Clarify a new boo that they're running from. Yeah, they're closing this cycle with somebody they're either having a child with or yeah. One more for this love child. It ain't for everybody. Yeah, see, that's why some of you were giving you mixed signals because they had something going on with somebody else. Now they want to come back towards you, spinning the block, curious about you, feeling like a whole jackass because they're missing you. Yep, can't stop thinking about you. Possibly getting themselves into some, some type of mess right now, and they're depressed. So I know tell them what they're doing, hearing bad news after bad news. This awakening they're going through is not a pretty one. It's not one of them things where, you know, they think it's going to be easy to get out of. Not this time around. They ran from everything else and did everything else. They can't run from this. No, sir. No, ma'am. They cannot run from what is going on with them. Current energy, they can't run. Nope. Not this time around. They got to do things the right, the right way this time. They got to do it the right way. So give me a few messages from the collective's person spirit. Tell me more. Cut the meeting there right now. They think of you day and night. That's why the late night calls, early texts in the, in the morning come in. So some of you are going to be receiving early texts, late night calls. It's because they can't stop thinking about you. About to confess that they're in love with you. Mm. Yep. See, they lack clarity. But they don't know if you feel the same way. What else? They fucked around and found out mm, things aren't looking good for your person. I'm telling you, they they got they fucked around and found out. They thought something else was gonna be better or they could do. Now they don't want you to go build a life without them because they feel like you're you're there still. After all the shit they put you through, they somehow think that you're still gonna let them come back. Yeah, the pain of losing you hurts them. That's why they're losing sleep. That's why they worry. That's why they're looking back on why did I do that? Why did I put myself in this position? But some of you, their mother figure didn't want them with you. 
okay? They don't want y'all two together. But some of the things that the karmic is doing, you would never do. Some of you, they, they, the karmic could have maybe talked to your person's mom if they got that close and was bad mouthing you, and your mom was, and their mom was like, "Well, I don't want you dealing with them." And maybe they have a strong bond with their mom. I don't know. For some of you, this is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or your one. But this person would love to make love to you if they could right now. Hoping that you'll let them move back in or move, or you move back in with them. Yeah, but this person is, yeah, unhealthy habits have caught up to them. So if they're around toxic people, they could have got caught up in something. Oh, let's pull them over. They went to jail. Okay. For some of you, you know, that got caught in the crowd, drinking, smoking, living a toxic lifestyle, dealing with a karmic who's toxic. Now they've got nothing to look. But Mary J. Blige, don't go. It says, why would I? It says, why would I go chase you when I know you're going to come running back? So some of you, you was like, yeah, you can be out here and be trifling and do whatever you're doing. But I'm not about to chase you because I know you're going to come back. And that, that it's not going to be pretty over there. And it ain't. It ain't. It is not pretty over there. Not one single bit. Any other messages? Look. They're coming back around. I'm telling you. You say, I'm not about to chase you. I know you're going to come running back. Look. Hoping you'll be the one who reaches out. But you're not. You're not going to reach out. Because why you know that? Because they're, they're going to reach out. You ain't got to do nothing. All you got to do is sit back, sit pretty, and do you. Yep. They're coming right on back around. Y'all already know what the video is. We need two messages. Spare me. I have two messages. Okay, from what this person wishes to let the collective know. Two messages, please. Two messages. Something to say. There's something I really want to share with you. I'm waiting for the right time to tell you. I told y'all this person got something to say to y'all. They really want to talk to y'all collective. Look, see, look, will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Would you believe me? So this person also, you know, they, they know you're not going for it. They know that you're not going to be listening to anything they're saying. And that's what they fear that you won't, you won't listen to them. Okay. You know, at the end of the movie of, on, um, what's the movie called? What's love got to do with it? And, and finally goes and like, let him say what he got to say. And she's like, okay, you got four minutes. And he's like, duh, duh, duh. he's like, damn it, Ann, I love you. Duh, duh, duh. And she's just like, you know, like it don't phase her no more. But that's, I feel that's the type of energy that I'm picking up. This person could be very toxic, drinking, you know, doing stuff like that. But now, and this person, you see how she was on stage and he watched her move on with her life. That's something how y'all going to be. Y'all going to be moving on to better and beautiful things. And this person, all they can do is sit back and watch you. See what they missed out on. And all you did was try to support them, love them, take care of them, you know, this person came with a lot of baggage, but you stood your ground as a man or as a woman and you didn't give up with them until you didn't have no choice but to give up. Until they showed you all of the bad signs to give up. Look, it's really simple. How do I feel? I want you. I want us forever. Soon. I'm going to contact you soon. I listen to the music you shared with me. It helps me connect with you, although we are apart. No one compares to you. No matter how many people I've met. And experiences I've had, there is no one like you. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. I'm telling you, somebody here is wanting to talk to you. And they want to get out what they need to say. But they're afraid that you won't believe what they got to say. They don't. They, they, that's why probably having their homeboy reach out to you. Or their homegirl reaching out to you. Like, please let the collective know I love them. I need them. I'm not going to fuck up no more. I learned my lesson. But y'all not going to believe it. Is it too late? I don't know. But they, they're hoping you'll hear what they got to say. Like, they, they're going to tell you, I want this. I want this. I want, I want this forever. That's why they want to contact you soon. Because they want you to know they want this connection. They realize, they like like the, like I said, I've had many experiences. I've They could went and dated other people outside of you. Had other, you know, whatever going on. But nothing compared to you. They haven't been around any places, people. Ain't nothing. That, that love that you poured into them and showed them, it does not compare to you. It don't. It don't. And it, it didn't, for some of you, it didn't take your person long to see that they y'all didn't need years to to them to figure out oh no it only probably took a two or three months if that for them to see whatever they chose over you did not work out y'all were worried at first but she was like you start thinking like so you start to heal and grow and get into your bag and start focusing on what was in front of you you was like oh that shit ain't working out next thing you know you get news ain't nothing working out this person calling your phone you're like yeah something ain't working and there it is okay 
So I love y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed y'all's reading and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.